Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Garmin Descent G1 Solar dive computer. So this is a new di uh, dive computer from Garmin. Uh, it's also got all of their multi-sport stuff inside of it. So you can take it like running and hiking and biking and swimming and all sorts of different multi-sports things. Lots of clever stuff on the inside, but it's also a fully functional dive computer uh, with everything from GPS to heart rate monitors and all sorts of clever things all in a teeny tiny little package and and this version this is the solar version so this actually has a little solar panel in the front of it that's going to help recharge the battery whilst you're out and about there is a non-solar version which is pretty much the same just without that solar panel um, but yeah smart piece of kit let's see what actually arrives on your front doorstep so this is how it arrives uh, in a very Garmin box. You've got the uh, the computer on the front uh, with the specific color, uh, just information on the sides, uh, and then package contains and just what's inside of it, uh, and just in a bunch of different language. The the, the usual little text that you get on boxes. Um, it's got a little seal on it. Um, let me just get into this really quickly, and then I can show you what's actually inside of the box. Okay, so opening it up, you get the little display case. So you see the the computer. We'll take a much closer look at the computer itself. Uh, it's got a little foam uh, sort of padding thing to undo, but we'll look at that a little bit later. Uh, you also get an extra long strap. So that's useful for your dry suit diving or wetsuits um, where you're not wearing it against your wrist. You've got to wear it over your exposure protection. Yes, you can't use the heart rate monitor, but it can fit over your, uh, your dry suit sleeve. You also get USB, the uh, the recharging cradle, spring loaded. Again, I'll show you how that sort of clips onto the computer. A couple little books. Important safety and product information. Uh, have a read through that. That's in a whole bunch of different languages, so it's not as big as it looks. Uh, and then just the, the user manual, I imagine, again, in a bunch of different languages. Uh, so yeah, that's everything that you get inside of the box. Let's take a closer look at the computer itself. So here's the computer itself. Uh, very nice and neat. It, it strikes me at how light it is. Um, but still it feels quite strong. The, the main, the bezel and the body of the computer, it just feels like one of those uh, sort of plasticky polymers nowadays, which is very, very strong and it's very um, uh, sort of tight. There, there's no like movement or anything in it. It feels quite rugged, but still incredibly light at the same time. So you're not really gonna notice wearing this too much compared to a lot of the larger dive computers. On the front on the screen itself, uh, you can see we have this um, sort of advanced dot matrix screen. So this is quite low power, but in it you have a lot of control over the, the overall screen. And just in like the watch face itself, you can cycle through several different designs. And then even from that, you can customize certain areas of that screen. So the little circle, you can control what always displays in that section. And then if you're on like the, the digital screen like this one, you can change the color of the minutes compared to the hours and each of the little information. You can go into such great customization and detail in this it's very Garmin to be able to yeah just control absolutely everything on the screen it's not just where well, you can have the analog face or the digital face you can have sort of a little bit of everything and um, all around it on this version the solar version it has solar sort of printed at the top it has this solar panel which is charging throughout the day so that's a nice feature especially if you're out and about you're wearing this day to day you've got that rechargeable battery you can recharge it uh, using that USB cable or you can just sort of use that uh, uh, that solar panel on the front just to top it up I don't think if you put it into like a special battery saver mode and you sort of like reduce the contrast as much as possible, I think you can legitimately run it almost indefinitely from that solar panel. But if you're using it to go scuba diving and hiking and using the GPS and all that kind of stuff, then yeah, you're gonna to need to top it up from time to time. But with that solar panel, you can just sort of extend that period a little bit uh, more than a, uh, a traditional dive computer without that solar panel. 
five button user interface, pretty simple to, um, to get used to. Uh, you've got five buttons on one side and two on the other. The sort of top right button, the start stop, that's your main like select button. And with each button press, you get a hepatic feedback, so it vibrates a little bit. Uh, I imagine inside the settings, you can turn that off, but it's quite nice to have that uh, sort of positive uh, reaction whenever you push something. On the side, you've got light, uh, you've got menu up, menu down. If you hold down that sort of central button, that's um, that uh, sort of accesses the, uh, the menu. And then you can cycle through a plethora of different modes, whether it's different dive modes from Nitrox and Trimix and CCR and all that kind of stuff to all the other multi-sports from hiking and cycling and all sorts of stuff. I actually got cramp in my hand just cycling through all the different modes that I could add. And then on from that, you can create your own customizable modes. It's just got a little bit of everything inside of this. Um, flipping it over on the underside, you have the heart rate monitor. So when this is pressed up against your wrist, um, it uses special lights and science, I don't really understand, but it measures your heart rate basically on the go, which is quite nice. And you can monitor that over time. Um, and next to that, you have these four contacts. So these are for recharging it. When you get that, uh, that recharging cradle, it's spring loaded and it just clamps onto that. And then you plug the USB into a powered USB port as you your smartphone and all that kind of stuff to uh, to top it up. Uh, the straps themselves, so these benefit from Garmin's Quick Fit 22 strap, um, which is instead of having to use those spring bars and undo the straps, you have a spring loaded section just at the bottom, which if you retract that and then unhook it, you can quickly and easily swap those straps over. So if you're going dry suit diving or over a thicker wetsuit, you can just hook this over push it on and then you're ready to go diving with a dry suit and then vice versa after the dive you don't want all this flappy strap uh, just unhook that and fit the uh, the replacement one or if you don't want these silicone straps you can swap them over for something different Garmin is very customizable when it comes to uh, to dive computers otherwise the strap itself is quite nice uh, sort of comfortable it feels like a rubbery silicone material it's nice and thin it's not too uh, sort of heavy or clunky and you have very small adjustments along that strap so one's not going to be too tight the next one is too loose it gets a nice uh, sort of comfortable feel so uh, yeah that's the um, the computer itself let's actually look at the screen and, uh, and navigate around the menus Okay, so let's have a quick little navigation around the uh, the menu structure. Um, so I'm just going to start with some of the other buttons, see what happens when I uh, press them from this position. So starting with the start stop. Um, so that jumps straight into dive mode, as it were, and then you can cycle through and choose what type of dive that you're going for. Uh, I'm just going to jump into single gas. And then bottom gas air, MOD, uh, is still set to uh, sort of imperial figures, uh, sort of cycling through water, fresh water, uh, and then sort of keep going through. And this is your dive mode screen, as it were, everything that you're going to uh, be able to see. And then I'm just going to keep pressing and see what happens. So gas, air, so if I press select, I'm guessing I can eventually change this. Yeah, so oxygen. 22 so I'm just going to cycle that up to 30% nitrox no helium and then go back from there and then you can add backups so yeah very clever you can add extra gas mixes if you're taking multiple ones down with you save changes yes please coming back out of there one nice thing that I noticed is that up here in this top main circle it cycles through how much battery life you have in dive mode to so 23 hours so that's quite a nice little feature so you can make sure that you have plenty of battery for the dive ahead heading back out is remembered that it's changed the um, uh, your MOD as well just going to head back from there. Uh, edit your deco uh, PPO2.4 is perfectly fine. Uh, conservatism. So these are, or well, they look a lot like gradient factors to me. Um, can I edit that? Oh, you have high, medium, low, and custom. So you can choose a 45, 95, 40, 85, or 35, 75, or pick your own. So that's quite a nice feature. 
and then here we can see we've got the changes added so nitrox um, and yeah nice clean information all on that screen nothing overly complicated or um, um, or just sort of taking up too much uh, space on the screen heading back uh, back to the main time screen the back button just makes it vibrate you can probably hear that um, but you can definitely feel it especially if that's on your wrist the uh, the lights I presume you hold that down. Oh, if you hold it down, you can power it off and you have all sorts of extra battery saver modes. Uh, do not disturb, uh, lock the keys, music controls, because this can connect to your phone. You can then control your music, what's playing um, through your music player, uh, on your headphones, you name it, everything, all sorts of, find my phone if you've lost your phone, but you still have this. Um, yeah, wallets, if you've got multiple cards and you want to pay for something, um, stopwatch, add alarm, uh, pool mode. Uh, so that's quite nice if you're a an instructor or a dive master, you spend a lot of time in and out of the water instead of your dive computer getting really confused because you're doing a lot of these like bounce dives down to whatever the maximum depth of your swimming pool is. If you just want to switch off that water sensor, you can just turn it to pool mode. I imagine that's what, uh, what that's for. Uh, and then back to power off. Holding down the menu, heading into the main menu. So you have dive setup. So you can go in and do gases and conservatives and just like we saw earlier, you can change the watch face, a lot of different watch faces. Um, and, uh, and this, yeah, you basically cycle through all the different ones in all sorts of different colors. Clocks. Set alarms, timers, and more. This is quite one nice thing with the, um, with the screen is that, and with the way that Garmin have set out the menu in that it, it kind of explains what things are so you don't have to guess or sort of spend time just plowing through the user manual it, it, it explains it quickly and then sort of sends you to those modes history just general history of the device uh, this is brand new so there's not going to be anything I'm just going to cycle through those pretty quickly uh, and then straight into a sort of settings activities and apps single gas, multi-gas, CCR. So these are all the, the dive modes. This is sort of primarily a dive computer, but also we're gonna head into all the other uh, information and, uh, and different apps. So navigate, track me, you're going for a run, bike ride, hike, golf, pool, swim, open water swim, uh, project waypoint, uh, kayak, stand up paddle board, surf, boat, strength training, yoga, uh, cross countries. The list goes on and on and on. Um, there's just, and you can add your own, which I think is quite nice. If you do have something that isn't on the list, you can add that as well. Appearance, uh, so watch face glances. Um, so you can sort of add all these little things and just very, very customizable in that if you do spend time and you do want it a certain way, you can add certain information, you can cut out information so that your dive computer and your general wristwatch is very personalized to you and it shows you the information that you want to see and you don't have to dig around too far to uh, to see it uh, and finally controls um, yeah so these are the ones that we saw when you hold down the light button uh, i imagine you can yeah, add new ones you can probably change them as well so incredibly customizable very easy to read I find this quite um, quite natural to to read. It's a very fine dot matrix screen. It doesn't have to be color coded. You can see it from quite a few different angles as well. So yeah, very nice, very easy to um, to understand. And yeah, even though it's got a lot of information on there, it's still all laid out very well, and you can read every single piece of information. So all in all, who is the Garmin Descent G1 Solar designed for? This is really made for the modern scuba diver who just wants one smart watch to wear like all the time, whether it be to the office, around town, because you have Garmin Pay inside of this as well. Uh, you can go up to certain, I don't think it's all of them, but you can go to certain of those card readers and kind of bip it and it sort of does things Bluetooth to your phone to pay for stuff. Um, if you enjoy your hiking or mountain biking or kayaking, or uh, there's several thousand different multi sports that you can put modes into this for. If you enjoy that and you want to use the same device for all of them, 
This is definitely for you as well as scuba diving, free diving, trimix, all that kind of stuff is all built into this nice compact little device. And because you've got that solar panel, when you're out and about and it's just got the sun bearing down on it, it's helping to recharge that battery so that you know that you always have charge for the dive at hand. It is a cracking little device. I was honestly shocked when I just played for it for about five minutes. You're already just flabbergasted by the amount of things that you can adjust and change inside of it. And I imagine that I've only scratched the surface because as much as I've paired it to my phone um, so it can get notifications and all that kind of stuff. And I got an alert on the, um, on the calendar through the uh, the watch itself that said that I needed to um, apply flea treatments to my dog. It, it's got everything in it. So yeah, for anybody who wants a single device that they can just have on their wrist all the time to monitor their sleep patterns, their heart rate, all that kind of stuff, and go scuba diving as well, it ticks all of the boxes. Now, believe it or not, there's gonna be even more information on our website, simplyscuba.com, because I, I just physically can't remember absolutely everything that this little computer does. Uh, but yeah, it's all gonna be on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's gonna be a link down in the description below so you can check it out and buy it from us at simplyscuba.com, as well as the regular version. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.